Hey now everyone, Matt Haywood here from the Star Wars Time Show to do the Easter Egg Breakdown, Star Wars Franchise References Breakdown for the latest, the last episode of Star Wars Resistance Season 1, which was titled No Escape Part 2. So, first and foremost, fantastic finale. Secondly, it had six Easter eggs and or Star Wars franchise references. Some of them I consider to be quite juicy, or not so much. I'm just excited because the finale was so boss. Anyways, let's get down to breaking down the six Easter eggs that I spotted in No Escape Part 2. Alright, so first up, and I'll be honest, this is probably the weakest of the bunch, but early on, Kaz and Tor are enacting a plan to get the First Order Troopers off of the Colossus. So when Kaz is calling in, he's like, Tor, are you ready? And she goes, Tor is standing by. And I couldn't help but remember the iconic line uttered by Luke Skywalker towards the end of A New Hope when they're doing the Red Squadron kind of call in, report in, roll call, whatever you want to call it, and he does his now iconic line of Red 5 standing by. All right, next up we have a little call back to some R2-D2 heroics, and this time CB is the hero, and, and what this ball droid does, so things are kind of going awry for Kaz and Tora on the Colossus, Basically, the poop has hit the fan, so uh, they need a diversion, and they need to get free from the stormtroopers. So what the CB do? Well, blast out some oil slicks, just like R2 did in Revenge of the Sith, when he lights up some B2 battle droids with the oil, and of course, he adds the nice little touch of fire to his oil mix. So I thought it was a nice little callback to Rots. And next up, we've got the use of some Star Wars slang, so I thought we'd include it here. So, you know, Kaz and the Aces, they've, they've rallied themselves. They're going out to attack some TIE Fighters, and Kaz's rallying cry is, you know, let's go waste some bucket heads. So I, I thought it was cool that they wove in some slang, which I believe first appeared in the Clone Wars. It was actually used between B-1 battle droids. Uh, but the term bucket heads is, was mostly used in Star Wars Rebels, but it has become slang in the fandom for Stormtroopers, so I thought it was a nice reference, if anything else. Alright, for our next item of note, we're going to continue on with terms of note from the Star Wars franchise. So here we got Freya Fenris. Uh, she's up there, she's, she's dogfighting with some TIE Fighters, and she's like, I've got two Sleemos on my tail. I was like, ah, oh, Sleemos, yes. Anakin Skywalker to Sabalba at the Bunta Eve pod race. Just scroony Depot Sleemo. Basically using a little Hati. So, yeah, I, again, I just, I like the, the weaving in of terms we've heard from other Star Wars properties. This one coming from the prequels and I believe used throughout Star Wars as Hut slang, uh, whatever you want to call it. And the eggs and references keep on coming. So here we got Kaz. He's, he's wrapping up this battle between the Colossus, which is now taking flight, and the First Order. And, and he knows they need to reach hyperspace. So he kind of hurries everyone in. And he's like, okay, punch in the coordinates for Dakar, basically. And Dakar, if you're unfamiliar, that is the planet that the Resistance is on when we come to meet them in The Force Awakens. And again, at the beginning of The Last Jedi. So Kaz's initial plan was to go to Dakar, which was referenced as a major location in the new trilogy. And the final Star Wars Easter egg or franchise reference for the first season of Star Wars Resistance comes from the Pirates. They were the biggest giver of Easter eggs early on. And that's, well, they have a Gamorrean guard in their ranks. I mean, we, we've seen they've had Trandoshans and other alien species that we've known throughout the Star Wars galaxy, but now we get a shot of little Mr. Piggy there. So that's a nice little final easter egg to cap off this excellent season of star wars resistance hopefully you've been watching or at least tuning into the videos we make and the resistance recap podcast special we do each week uh, so that does it people that's going to be our last easter egg breakdown for star wars resistance love the show don't worry we'll keep covering it as things pop up or maybe do some speculations on where season two can go Appreciate you. Matt Haywood signing off for Star Wars Time Show because there's always time for Star Wars Time. May the Force be with you. Always. StarWarsTime.net.